In these times of uncertainty and fear, it is time to look at the brightest side of what is happening. There are a few Pollyanna moments occurring lately, but the decision to suspend the 2020 Nebraska legislative session may be won. There is an analyst list of jokes about government, but in every joke there is some truth, which makes it funny. When towns missing their village idiot when Congress is in session, or the safest times or when politicians are not working, has more truth than I would like to believe. Henry David Thoreau wrote, That government is best which governs least, seems most appropriate, with the unicameral constantly making laws trying to solve problems that we didn't know we had. There were several bills on the way to the floor that will hopefully not hear further discussion. LB 58, the red flag law. LB 848, renaming of Columbus Day with a $60,000 cost. LB 780, which provides $50,000 to the Nebraska Arts Council. Or LB 283, Nebraska Climate Change Study, are on the short list of things that do not solve any problems. In 2009, the H1N1 virus hospitalized 300,000. After 61 million Americans contracted the virus, killing 13,000. Few of us remember that pandemic, which was on the order of magnitude more serious than the coronavirus. What is difference compared to 10 years ago? Today, the scourge of social media, the liberal press, and the politicalization of the virus is shutting down the entire country with fear gaining, gaining momentum by the hype. The mantra of today's newscaster is, if it bleeds, it leads, and bad news is good news. If anyone wants to overthrow a country, this is the best approach to take. Flood the country with the illegal immigrants with the intention of making them voters. Fan the flames of a pandemic. Panic the citizens with gloom and doom to crash the stock market. Isolate everyone with the media telling us what to think by questioning and complaining about everything that's being done. With no further damage occurring in Unicamel for a while, no rush hour traffic, no long waiting lines at restaurants, and the opportunity to spend more time with our families, how could anyone wish for more? We live in the greatest state, inside the greatest country, with the greatest economy and standard of living of any place in the world. We are a constitutional republic if we can keep it. It is never what happens to us, but how we deal with it. We have survived worse, but we just didn't know it. The best we can expect is to die healthy, and this too will pass, are all points to ponder. There will always be something of which to worry, but the comparison to the past and other countries is actually not, doesn't get much better than being a citizen of the United States of America. This is Keith Kuby wishing you the best in making the world a better place.